Water's really flowing over there coming out of the lake. We're at Dockery Lake today. Uncle Joe, Uncle Joe hikes. Just, this is one of those just get out and do something kind of a hike. But I thought, it's been a little while since I've been on this trail, so why not? Spring, we're in the first weekend of April. Some of the small flowers are coming out. We'll see if there's any, any larger ones. On our way up, the audio is going to be a little different. Uh, I left the mic, the road mic, at the Jeep. So we're going to go with the built-in mic on the uh, media pack for the GoPro, which has always done pretty well. You can see the moisture shiny on the rock. We're going to make this turn back and around. This is a nice open area here. So we make our way. You can tell there's a lot a lot more activity it seems like and sound than it being spring. Everything's wanting to wake up and get out and do things. A big cascade down there somewhere, but I don't even think we get a view of it on this trail, sadly. But we're marching on. Got onto some hemlocks here with some pine needles to walk on, which is nice. So, yeah, some big boys in here. Right up between those branches, you can see a rock. I'm not sure, but I think that may be Preacher's Rock. I can just see and make out people. And I say that because you see like a white, really, really white garment. Looks like it's gone now, but for a second there you could. Beautiful spot. That water crossing back there is a good example of why it pays to visit, revisit trails like this. I've done this trail twice, I think, before, maybe three times. I'd completely forgotten <laughs> about that water crossing. It's beautiful, you know. You, you never know what's, you know, you're going to forget about a trail and then rediscover. Also, things can change on a trail tree can come down open up the canopy and uh, you can have things grow and completely change the personality of a section of trail so you just never know it's always worth it to uh, revisit a trail that's for sure now, I remember this water crossing but I remember it being really shallow for some reason but uh, again things can change right so I may be thinking about one that's coming up, but anyway, we gotta get crouched. <laughs> I get crouched. I'm trying to remember how I did it before. I was thinking I went down low like that. But we can go up over there too, but I don't know. Gotta figure it out. Need some figuring on it. <laughs> That's a pretty deep pool right there. You can see the water down there. Beautiful creek. Down there somewhere they're gonna converge. Beautiful though.
There's some good cascading going on down there. Every time I come up here, I always lament that you can't see it. It's just too bad. So we were coming up on the ridge. But as we rounded this corner here, you see that this draw came up and then back, which is why there's still a lot of water because it's still going back in there and still drawing on all of those side slopes as water, you know, providers, if you will, moisture provide, providing. So there you are. That explains it. And it's still coming. And looks like it makes a turn back that way. It'll eventually stop back there, obviously, because the Appalachian Trail's up there somewhere and then dive down the other side, the northern slope. We're on the southern side here. All right. I think we finna get our feet a little wet. <laughs> you gotta get across here. Where you can it. <laughs> Lots of water. We're still going up that same draw. It's gonna make its way down and drop into that. That runoff, that uh, drainage, and then make a huge descent down. So all this water has got a long way to drop yet. Beautiful though. Yeah, I mean, we're going up. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Right there, huge cascade really waterfall because I'm sure that's more than 10 feet tall and what that tells you is that beyond there is still even more of a draw and drainage as much as we've climbed there's still another section up there because that's a lot of water coming down it's got to come from somewhere right so even this ridge is not the end as there's more to go back that way amazing It's a huge cascade. Well, we made it up to this little camp spot here on the gap. We've been here a time or two. It's a nice little area to sit and set up camp. Put a tent behind me here. One here. We'll make our way around up that little ridge, the ATs. Just a hop, skip, and a jump up that way. We ain't gonna be hopping or skipping. I'm tired. We ain't gonna be hiking. We made it to the Appalachian Trail. That's not an easy hike up. I've done that one before. It was What's fun. that? Yeah? Yeah. It was hard for me anyway. Anyway. It's a lot of climbing. It is. Yeah. And them two dogs, I hope that I don't owe them no money. They might just try to take a hunk out of me. I can't remember what the name of this gap is, but it's Dockery Lake Trail. We just came up. is right there. Yeah, we got our break done. A couple of through hikers just went by. They're at that period in the hike when there's some apprehension over <laughs> what they've chosen to do. They've come over some big mountains and told them they'd be fine. They'd be fine. If they can get up to Lake Fontana, they will have, they'll have done a lot of good climbing. So I'll tell them a lot. We're heading back down to Dockery Lake, on the Dockery Lake Trail. And, uh, get back down to the truck. So coming back across here, you got to split. 
which you don't notice when you're coming in. But you can see here, some blue blazes are kind of hanging in there. It would indicate we're going this way. So we are. <laughs> That's down in where we were earlier. Somebody had cleared all that out. Put a firing in there. See through there. A little cool in there camping in both sense of the word. Well, we made it up that main draw and back to the single track. And through there, <laughs> I don't need to fall right there. No, <laughs> and closed. So we're back on the ridge. Side slope that leads us for the most part down to the lake. There may be a couple of more draws we have to cross, but for the most part, we just follow this down. Dump out at the lake. There's old Gubby waiting patiently. Hopefully nobody broke in and got my mood ring. Be kind of hard to see what kind of mood I'm in without my mood ring. Well, our revisit of Dockery Lake's done. It's really just a get out and hike, to get out and hike kind of a thing. Uh, I needed it. My shoulders have been really bothering me. Mainly because I've been working on Jeep bumpers and stuff with my buddy on his Jeep and my Jeep. Haven't been on the trail. Weather's been uh, iffy. Finally, we got a week of sunshine and got a chance to get out. So it felt good. It just beat me up, which I needed. But uh, yeah, almost eight miles round trip. So I needed that. Felt good. Good to see the, the woods again. See a couple of through hikers too. That's always kind of nice. Good, good hike. Needed to get wore out. Now, I need to get some vettels. 